good y'all it's your girl not asia bars and real shit and i want to talk about kanika jenkins uh the young 19 year old female who was uh she lost her life at a hotel party in chicago on sunday um okay where do i start um we can see the video circulating around where she looks drunk and she seems to be just walking around not knowing where she's going she looks like she has no idea where she's going like she looks drugged actually um and we can see her go down to the basement and walk through a a kitchen that's not being used where they say her body was discovered in a freezer in that kitchen and what's crazy is if that kitchen was not being used that means the freezer was not being used so therefore it should not have been turned on for her to go into it and freeze to death all right y'all so this is what i want to say first first i want to say Watch the company you keep. Watch your surroundings. As I've said before, I've done other videos where I tell you to make sure you watch the company you keep. Everybody is not your friend. Everybody does not have your best interests. Okay? Now, what I'm getting from this little girl. Um, okay, she was uh, to become a nursing assistant. And she was very... She was going to work at a nursing home, and she was very happy about this, so she wanted to go out and celebrate. And it was also one of her friend's birthday. Um, which brings me to the Irene challenge. The girl Irene, I'm, you know, it was, it was her birthday because I heard someone say happy birthday to her in her live stream and tell her that she looked beautiful, which is the girl with the brown short haircut and the big glasses that you could, like, see your reflection through. Um, the Irene challenge, that is very disrespectful to the dead. I mean, this generation has no respect for the deceased at all. And I'm not going to give it no light. So if you want to know what that is, you can go ahead and Google it. And it'll come right up and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, yeah, let's get into this. Um, the little girl, the 19-year-old, she was done wrong. You know what I'm saying? By the exact people that she thought cared about her and had her best interest at heart. These are people that she thought was her friend. Um, there was a lot of jealousy going on. And this is just vibes that I'm picking up as I've seen everything there is to see dealing with the situation. Um, yeah, it was a lot of jealousy going on for sure. Um, there were also boys involved. There was also some foul play. Now, what I want to say about the hotel is the hotel is part of the cover-up. Um, you know, these, these things will come out later because these children will be uh, tried. They will be questioned. And when they find out how real it is, you better believe if it's about seven, eight kids that one or two of them is not going to want to take all of this time or be charged for murder, they're going to start talking. So we don't have to worry about her mother getting justice because she will get justice. It's just going to take a while. But you better believe <clears throat> when you put the pressure on children, they're going to start talking. Okay? Everybody's not with the no snitching shit. Okay? So, yeah, um, eventually somebody's going to end up telling the truth, and it'll all come out. But what's sad is how she was put in that freezer, and, that free and someone turned it on. Because you can look at the kitchen and tell it's not being used. They didn't even have to tell us that. So, <clears throat> if the kitchen's not being used, neither is the freezer, you know? So, um, I mean, this shit is just so sad, y'all. Like, it's so freaking sad. Because teenagers always want to go out and party, and then the moment we tell them no, we're the bad person. And you never know, you could be saving your child's life. It is okay to tell your child, no, you cannot go out. No, you can't go to a hotel party. No. Okay? Simple as that. You need to, These parents need to do better. And I'm not blaming her mother. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, as parents, it's okay to say no sometimes if you still have a teenager, whether they're 16, 17, 18, or 19. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we just feel things and we know that it's just not it's not cool. It's not right. And not only that, um, pay attention to your, your, your children's friends. Pay attention to your teenager's friends. You know, because we can always spot the ones who's real and who's fake, who has their best interests, who was raised right, who was raised different than your child. You know what I'm saying? Because um, a lot of times it ain't good to let your child hang out with somebody who is raised totally different than them. Because it could be a lot of jealousy there. It could be a lot of envy there. It could be a whole lot of ill will. So anyway, um, I believe that this child was set up by her friends. 
I believe it will all come out. That's why we can hear bits and pieces of certain things in these live videos and different shit that we're putting together. Um, and the other reason we can't get our, our number one answer for our number one question is because the hotel is part of the cover-up. Think about it. They have footage of the whole hotel from the ninth floor all the way to the basement. But that one camera that would show her walking into the freezer is the one part of the footage that they just happen to not have. Come on, man. That don't make no sense at all. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I also believe that little girl was raped earlier that night um, in the bathroom. I believe she was raped and I believe she was, you know, lured out of that bed, out of that room and lured into something even worse. I believe that those girls had a plan and it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to turn out. So they had to execute a plan B, you know, and it is really sad to know that you can go somewhere with somebody and think that you're going to have a good time. And the whole time these people have ill will against you. They have, they have something, they have bad blood, you know what I'm saying? Bad feelings against you and you don't even know. So if you're ever in that situation and you just feel something is not 100% correct, just take somebody with you. Don't go by yourself. If you know that those people are not your actual friends that you be with every single day, because as I understand, Kanika has a, a real best friend. And I've seen some of her Facebook uh, statuses too, wanting to fight the girl Irene. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't feel too 100% comfortable, take someone with you that you know loves you and has your best interests at heart so that you'll be okay. This is very deep, y'all. Um, I I don't want to, like, I don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I have very strong instincts when it comes to certain situations, especially when it's dealing with a teenager or children because I have teenage children. You understand? I have two, a boy and a girl. Um, I just want to say that this child... I believe something happened to her twice that night. I believe one once by uh one of the one of the little boys that she liked or whatever or liked her and she didn't really like him and one of the staff at the the hotel. And not only that, listen to the 911 call from her mother. All the way at the end you'll hear another 911 call come in hours later saying that they found a body in the freezer. Um a, a young woman is uh, froze to death. And they need to check out that staff right there because if it's a freezer that's not being used and the kitchen is not being used, you just happen to go in there and check. I don't I don't know. It's just it's just not adding up. And also the autopsy, it's still saying that they're doing further tests and studies. I've never really heard that before. I've never heard it said like that before, but that's because they know more happened. They need to check under her nails. They need to check run DNA. Like it's a lot that plays in this for it all to come out. But guess what? The whole story will come out. And y'all got to remember, teenagers are very finicky. You know what I'm saying? So when they get in that interrogation room, somebody's going to start singing. So we don't have to worry about justice coming for this little girl. It will come. Just give it some time, y'all. Because these teenagers are scared. And not only that, they don't always have the same story. Because they don't, they're not smart enough to sit down and come up with the same story word for word. And we're all going to stick to this. Not when you get scared. Because when a teenager gets scared, it ain't nothing but a big baby. So y'all better believe the truth is going to come out. The full story is going to come out. For the, Somebody is going to tell the whole story so they can get less time. Trust me. Um, with all this being said, y'all can leave y'all comments below on how y'all feeling about everything, what y'all think happened, if there's any new video footage you would like me to check out, any questions that you want me to answer that I haven't, because I'm really sure about what I'm saying, okay? This young girl was raped, and she was placed in that freezer. Listen, that footage was not there for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Um, the police are not part of the cover-up, but the hotel is. And so is those children that were in the room. And not only that, one of the children who were at the hotel party, well, not children, but the young one of the young ladies at the party actually works for the hotel. So you put that together yourself. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Rest in peace to the young lady. And uh, let's talk about it, y'all. It's your girl, Asia. Bars and real shit. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I drop that fire. And, um... Yeah, let's 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 get into this. Let's talk about it, y'all.